Creationism 10. How the globe may have been engulfed by the flood. Creationism 10. How the globe may have been engulfed by the flood. Okay. Now, this is speculation because we don't really have videotape of the world being flooded by God. We don't really have camera or film showing it happening. We have a fairly good idea in creation science how it probably happened, but we don't have 100% the exact sort of details of how it all came out exactly. So I've <coughs> had a bit of a thought to think about it just, just then, and um, obviously there's rivers. We see in, in Eden there's rivers which flow out of Eden. So the world is getting a water source from coming up out of geysers or something like that in the ground. A water source which is coming up from the ground because it's not really raining. It's coming up, rushing up from the ground. So the water ground from a mist on the ground is coming up and forming water from the surface of the ground, mist and things. And, um, these, on the sides of mountains and things, when the water sort of comes up from the mist on, the, on mountain ranges and things, that water does actually still flow down into valleys, and naturally enough, it does actually form rivers. Water is coming out of mountain ranges and higher lands. That will still form a river. A river is still formed in such situations. And naturally, they'll flow into the low points on the globe, which are ocean sort of things. So rivers and oceans were still generally probably part of it, because the mist comes up from the ground, but it, it still it behaves like water on planet Earth. It still flows and it pulls itself together at lower points on the uh, altitude, or whatever you want to call that. And, uh, of course, uh, there is, um, there's water in, there's a lot of water in space at that time, in, in the heavens, just above us, which is the form of mists and clouds and things. Now, what goes on with the flood is he's breaking the foundations of deep, which are the ocean depths, and he's letting the, the water in the heavenly, heavens above us, the skies above us, flood down. So initially, the foundations of the deep are broken. The water's gushing up, which I think is through the, the, the gap, the plates in the world, the edges of them, which were broken. But it was all whole and it was broken. That's where the water came through. But it was probably somewhat flatter. The, the world's surface was probably somewhat flatter which gave it the ability to sort of um, all the water as it came down from the heavens, um, emptied it all onto the planet, and the water from the deep coming up, it flooded it temporarily. It was of sufficient, of what was going on was a sufficient water supply that the world was able to be flooded and surrounded by water. But, but, but the foundations of the deep were being broken up, so what seems to probably be heaven, happening is that as the sun's coming through and a rainbow obviously is starting to appear because uh, the structure's been changed, the water's returning to the heavens. Water's now, it had, it had emptied its supply of water and the clouds above us of that water. There's the water in the clouds. So the water's returning to heaven and it's coming back from the earth up, up into the heavens again. So some of the top land is starting to appear and what I think also is going on is that the foundations of a tea probably being broken up a bit by God and water's settling down because the foundations of the bottom part, they're being broken. So water's starting to sink back down into foundations of deep even lower. So ground is starting to, the world's changing a bit and um, the water's settling. So while initially it's covered the whole globe, Obviously, water has is not there now, so it must have settled down. Something like that. Something like that. 
I think it's probably what's going on. I don't exactly know for sure how it all came about. I think the evidence personally that I've seen for the flood is good enough to demonstrate it occurred. But in some way, the water settled and the land still appeared. And another possibility, of course, is also that if it's all water, so Antarctic ice was water, so there's a big supply of water which was on the planet as well at that time also. So, yeah, speculation.